Well, I decided to change out the manual jack that was on my new dump trailer to something a little bit different. I started researching the internet, looking around, looking at the electric jacks like I have on other trailers and stuff, which are so slow for most part that I can crank it up and down with a manual jack quicker than I can with those electric jacks. Um, although there's probably some other options out there, but I looked at them. I called most companies. Um, I ended up going with a Stillwell Atlas hydraulic jack. And after talking to Stillwell, their, their customer service was incredible as far as uh, responsiveness, answering my questions, helping me out, uh, giving me options that are out there, comparisons, etc. So I ended up going with their kit for the Atlas jack, which is a 12K hydraulic jack. And the kit comes with the jack itself, and then all the hoses and connectors you'll need, plus the ball valve to be able to switch from the bed to the hydraulic jack. And it's a very very simple installation um, the only thing that I uh, and I knew this up front was uh, the mounting plate that they had on theirs the holes didn't match up so I basically built my own mounting plate um, but you can talk to them about different options and what kind of trailer because a lot of trailers um, out there are set up I, I believe like big techs and stuff are set up for uh, mounting their hydraulic jack onto their system so it's a very, very simple, straightforward, and I'm sure all the hose length will work. That was the other thing I did with them. I said, hey, you know, with my dump trailer and the way I have the, the big toolbox on the front, I need longer, longer hoses. Can you do that for me? And they said, sure. It was, it, it was like nothing. It was, uh, I said, okay, I need different hose lengths running from the jack back to the valve where I plan to mount it, and did different lengths going back to the pump. And they said, no problem. And that's what I got. And, Pretty simple installation so mounted the jack up uh, put all the connectors in I found a location where I had planned to put the ball valve I installed the ball valve and then the basic way it works is you're gonna remove the two hoses that are for the bed uh, piston ram that are going back to the pump you're gonna remove those two off and you're gonna mount them to the left side of the ball valve and everything's labeled uh, you can't miss you can't really mess it up it's labeled extension and retraction then you're going to remove uh, take two new cables from the front up here and you're going to run them back to your pump and then you're going to run uh, or hoses I should say and then you're going to run two new hoses from the valve back up to the jack itself and then it's basically a simple operation where you're going to just flip between what you want to do like if you want to raise and lower the bed all you're gonna do is I'm gonna move over here so the Sun doesn't interfere with us is once you flip there you can raise and lower your bed and then if you flip over to the other direction then let me back up here for you can see this a little bit better show you how quick and simple this is that's what I was really looking for in operation and simplicity and be able to connect up uh, to my truck when I'm going to use my dump trailer. So like I said, if you got any questions, uh, you can surely call Stillwell. They're very responsive. One of the big reasons I went with them uh, and the capability of the jack, as you can see. And uh, if you have any questions for me, leave them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them for you. Uh, and if I can't answer them, uh, like I always said, you can give Stillwell a call. I think it's the way to go when you're looking for uh, capability and simplicity, simplicity in a jack for a for a for a dump trailer. Thank you.